What's up you guys, it's King. Someone asked me about how to add elements into their backgrounds and I figured that if one person's asking me, I could help you all out. I already took the time to sketch out the placement of my scene, but the most important thing to remember about scenery design is that if there's a focal point like a person or a building, it needs to remain near the middle of the page, either in one of these spots or at the center. To help with that, take the proper time to choose an angle that would work best with what you're trying to do. And in other areas of the page, there should be accessories that exist to help convey the scene that you're working on. Remember to sketch lightly first though, so you can easily erase any mistakes later on. This video isn't about drawing people or dogs, but if you want a video on drawing animals, let me know in the comments below and I'll make a video on that soon. If you're drawing an object that is see-through, like a wire fence, glass, or something like that, remember to draw in whatever is behind it so that the end product looks just a little bit more realistic.
If you're adding ink to define your scene, remember to wait a moment or two for the ink to dry and then erase all of the graphite sketches thoroughly before you work on anything else. Proper shadows make a whole lot of difference when it comes to sceneries. Make sure your shadows are pointing directly away from your light source. Okay, now we're gonna work on the color scheme of your scene. If you want two things in the same place to both stand out, use complementary colors, like I did with the guy by the gate in the red shirt. He's in red because he's surrounded by green in the grass. If I had used any other color, it wouldn't stand out as much. If you want to make a reflective surface like I did with this pond, the angle is always dependent on the light source which is why you see the sun and the sky in this shot. And as the end of this drawing comes to a close, you can see that this dog park is across the street from a store and a garage. Everything is clear and easy to understand. And if your scene is like that, then you did great. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like and comment letting me know what you think. And if you haven't already, subscribe for more awesome drawing videos. Again, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. King out.